There you go. He might be the one. He might be the one. Look at that monster. Good morning, welcome to another one guys. We are back at Sebastian Inlet like you see on my background. Man, look at that. I never seen the water this calm. This is my first trip here that I see it this way because it's always wavy or stormy. Man, today I feel like we're gonna have a good day guys. So again, it's said in town, our shores uh, uh, got hit pretty bad. So it's not even access yet any of the beach side so it's gonna take a while people didn't think gonna be that bad so prayers go to all of those families that lost everything and uh i mean it's nothing we can do guys mother nature so at least people getting together and rebuilding so yeah figure out since it's gonna be a while i thought like a week but no it's gonna be more than that uh i might just do east coast but finally, I got in this side of town with some beautiful weather. So, like always, uh, main species is going to be snook. They were catching some big drums, some big uh, some uh, big snappers, they said. So, kind of going to fish for everything. That's the idea. Meeting a friend today here. going to be two of us. Man, it's gorgeous. So, yeah, we already got our bait, guys. See those weird birds? Uh, worse than pelicans. You, if you think pelicans still baits for you, these guys went all over my feet and just grabbing the bait when I was trying to put them on a, a, a bucket. We're set on bait. Let's head out there, catch some snook. All right, you guys, we made it out here. The pier is kind of busy, you know, for a weekday. I didn't think it would be this busy. The water though is nice and calm. It's not clean yet. Maybe when the tide changes, but it's calm. All right, you guys, we're ready. Not much going on on the pier, so we're gonna start light. You know, always when the bite is slow, I prefer going light. 20 pound main line, 30 pound leader. I think 30 or 25, I'm not sure. Number uh, two, uh, two uh, J hook. So we're gonna start with shrimp or small mullets. We're gonna start with the corner right there. That's where I see a lot of people catching some jacks and some Spanish. So let's see if uh, any snook redfish is there. But yeah, that's the idea. Let's go and throw uh, either mullet or shrimp in there. Let's see if we can start catching something good. All right, our first cast. Let's, uh, let's try this corner right here. Let's go. Just split shots for now. Later on day, we're gonna we're gonna put some weight, you know, when the current gets strong. One, I might leave it on split shot. One on either three eight or one ounce weight. I don't want to go a little farther. My body, I'd win there. Any, any bites? Yeah. Oh, you stuck again? Yeah, you have rocks always, so you have to go a little farther. Let's see what we got. Check the check. Oh, that was pump. That was pump, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a freaking pump. Let's go. Let's try one more time. Go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see what we got. All right, fish. And we'll take it. We'll take it. Go away from it. Little light, but I'll try. I'll help you. Okay. A little line is little skinny. There you go. Thanks, man. All right. Let's go. 
Starting our day here with the red. Look at that beauty. Oh, sorry. Can't keep them in this side of town, but hey, that's a start, guys. That's a start. Let's go. Hey, I was getting a little disappointed. Let's go. It's a nice redfish, yeah. Not huge, but all right. All right, you guys, that was the first fish for me on the pier. I seen one snook and two other redfish. That's all for now, but hey, still early. This water is rushing out. We might go back since it's low tide right now, see if we can uh, find uh, Mohoras. Both, uh, both guys that got the snook and red, they got them on Mohoras and croakers, of course. But yeah, actually, I have one more mullet I want to try, then go back and see if we can catch some Mohoras. Let's go. All right, you guys, we got our favorite bait. You know what our favorite bait is. Look at that. Hey, candy, candy, snook candy. Let's see. Let's see. Now we're talking. They're not hitting the shrimp. They're not hitting the mullets before the redfish. But then I cannot say no to this candy. Right? Look at that. Candy, guys. Candy. Let's go. Straight on the bike. Let's go. Spanish? What? I'm not looking for Spanish. You want to put this on the box? Okay. I wasn't looking for him. All right, let's go for one more. Let's go for one more. It's all right. He took it on a drop, so I knew that wasn't a snooky snook. I mean, snook can take it that way as well. How far are you? No, you don't need to take your seat. You know? I need to take on the right. No, that wasn't a good test. I'll just leave it for a sec. Let's go. Arrogant is all. Final. Jackie? Yeah, that's a Jack. Yeah, that's a Jack. Oh, blue runner, big blue runner. Look, uh, no, it's all on top, right? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's coming back your way, Jack. Oh, that's a nice one. That might be a thought. Hey, grab me. Oh. There you go. He may be the one. He may be the one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, he's right. Uh, yeah, he's good. he's done. There you go. Woo! He might make it. All right, thanks, guys. Good job. Appreciate you, man. Woo! Maybe a little over. We'll see. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that, guys. Let's measure this beauty. Yeah, let's measure quick. Look at that. 
Look at that monster. Yeah, let's go where he is. Ugh. You can see that, right? All right. Let's go. 31. 31. Yeah. Yeah. He's good. He's good. Hey, it's 31 and a half, guys. It's been 12 years since we keep a uh, snook, so we're thinking even let this guy go or keep him, give it another shot. I'll let you know how, how it has. It's been a while. So I think we're going to keep him. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that beast right there, guys. Look at that beast. Look at that beast right there. Nice. Yeah, right on that. Right on there, right? Yeah, man. 31 and a half. So, I think this is going to be our first keeper in 12 years. I had a bad experience with Snook. Everybody's telling me try again. I did dog cook it with some skin on it. And since then, I have the test on my mouth and I never kept the Snook. But since we drove this far, this guy going to go home. I'm going to give it another shot and we'll let you guys know how good it is. So, I'm pumped. Let's go out there, try to catch some more. Yep. Thank you. As soon as I want to grab some horrors, luck changed. For good, right? Not for bad, for good. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're doing the walk now. Just split shot, but I might, might need a little heavier. I might, I try my heavy rod. I'll give this five minutes, man. Most of my snook here has been on the light rod. The heavy one, not good. Everybody's walking. All right, another attempt with fresh bait. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I got one slot. They're all a little over here. No, you caught a big one though, that counts. You caught a big one. Yeah, yeah baby. Baby, baby, baby. You know, these little guys, man. Look at that. Another good one. Ah, that was fun. Yeah. All right. We'll start throwing some shrimp now. Kind of lazy to go back for more mojaros. I hate the luck. Let's see if this tiny shrimp going to give us anything good. Yeah, that's small ones on the shrimp, so. Look like they're interested on the shrimp. Let's see if we can pull another big one. Too many small ones now. I don't know where the big ones go. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On the tiny shrimp, man. Oh, Martin. Hey, look at that kid. Martin, now that uh, the water is, is, is slack, yeah, let's try to catch some snappy. Now what we're looking for, but hey, we'll take a mutton all day. Yeah, look at that beauty guys who needs to go to the case when we catch them here at Sebastian Inlet there you go all right you guys we call in the day can't complain we got our keeper uh, snook today bite wasn't crazy but okay I'll say so a couple people got some snook a couple people got some Spanish Mac some redfish my body feels this cooler with a uh, Spanish Mac, so everybody happy. So yeah, another successful trip uh, here at Sebastian Inlet. It's been 12 years since uh, I ate snook, so he's going home. I'll give it another try and see how I feel. We'll see if we're going to do this catch clean and cook. All right, you guys. 
the next day we kept this beauty on ice he even still have full hard ice in his mouth it's good when you uh, fillet them fresh because this is little frozen from the from the ice still well uh, it's been almost 12 years so i don't know if i i'm gonna do a perfect job on this uh cleaning but like every other fish should be the same just go under the fin And that. Yeah. I'm pumped to try snook again after 12 years, I'll say. I'm going to use my other knife. It's much stiffer than this. It's all right. This works. Yeah, I have to wear a globy. I have two, three cuts that were made from this nook. Like I said, I should bleed it in first, but hey, not bad, not bad. See, nothing left. Look at the rib cage, nothing left anywhere. So, yeah, look at these fat fillets, guys. So, we're just gonna do half. I think half gonna be just enough for all of us. But look at that. Little blood here on the tip, should bleed it. It's all right. Uh, look how fat they are. Nice. All right. Skin is tough, so you don't have to worry about skin breaking. little thick though for my fillet knife but it's all right we'll make it work hardly reaching on that side of the fillet yeah just pull the skin pull the skin my fillet knife is too short Oops. All right, all right. There you have it. Nothing there. Look at that, Patty. Look at this beautiful fillet, guys. Look at that. So, yeah, we're gonna work the pin bones here. I'm gonna make this, I'll say little chunks. That's what they're gonna do. And not bored you with this. We're gonna go ahead, finish the rest of it. But look at that fillet. Look how thick this thing is. Yeah, did a perfect job. Didn't leave any, any meat in there. Look at that, guys. Snooky after 12 years. So, yeah. We don't know yet what kind of a recipe you're going to pull out for this snook or how we're going to do it. Fried, grilled, bait. It's going to be for later on the day, though. Kind of gloomy right now anyway. I hope it doesn't rain. But uh, we'll come up with a recipe and we'll see you guys later on on the kitchen so let's do it all right you guys we're ready so we decide to go and uh pan fry this uh snook with some olive oil this rain is is around it's almost starting so i had to put my umbrella on but today we're gonna use garlic we're gonna go simple i mean i saw crazy recipes online but we're just gonna do some garlic some olive oil some pepper lime lemon juice and salt guys let's hurry up with this i uh decide to go with chunks so enough amount of salt every time i want to do something the rain has to start gonna give them a good amount of salt both sides we're gonna marinate them good like i said it's been 12 years so want to make it good guys 
All right. Garlic powder. Not crazy a lot, so I just want to give it enough, but we don't really like heavy spices, so just a little bit. Some olive oil. I actually, even though they're going to be 10 fried, it's all right. I'm still going to give some, some other spices they stick in there. I forgot to bring a paper towel. So. My hands are going to be a little sticky for the rest of them. Black pepper. Now make them nice and juicy. This will be in good grill as well. The same way I'm making them because since I put some olive oil in there and all these other juices, nothing wrong grilling or baking it. But this time, I want to try pan seared. Uh oh, rain is starting. Better go under the umbrella. I have to rush. Every time I have to rush. All right. Some more pepper, I think. Let's put a little more. And a little more salt. All right. Let's go here, guys. Let's go under the umbrella now. You can go in that side. All right. Start this guy up. So yeah, it's been so long, guys. I, like I said, almost 12 years. But I remembered I did cook the snook fried or grilled back then. I don't remember. I think fried with the whole skin and everything so I learned that afterwards that that's why they used to call them soppy fish because the skin and like you see look at the chunk of this fillet look how thick it is guys man and of course grilling some uh, some vegetables it's gonna go with that snook some onions some carrots some broccoli all right, that oil looks like it's almost ready, Alex. What do you think? Let's go, guys. Oh, look at that chunk. Mmm. Looks good, right? Yeah. Let's go. We're going to eat good today. Look at that. Look at that snooky. Yeah, this time I decided to just, you know, keep a snook. It's been so long. Let's see if I'm gonna change my mind. I'm not a big fan of chicken soup anyway, even though I, I'm gonna like it. Maybe keep one here, one there. I like to catch and release. You know, beautiful fish, good looking fish. But let's see. They say snook is the best fish you can have, especially on inshore. But for me, always been pumpkin, a cobia, grouper, snapper. I'll put redfish and snook on the bottom of that list. I, I still love pompanos, grouper, cobia. All right, look like they're ready to turn. That one nice and golden like that. Same thing on the other side. A few more minutes. There we go. Oh man, they smell good too. Not only they look good, they smell good. Man, this umbrella was a good idea. Yeah. All right. So yeah, a few more minutes. And they're going to be ready. That's all you need for fillets, guys. Depends. Sometimes some people, they like them crispy. I do like them crispy myself. But some people don't like the fish that crispy. All right, you guys, they're ready. Our vegetables are ready. And this rain is serious. Look at that rain. Hey, it's cool cooking on the rain, right? But we have to run inside now and enjoy this fish inside. At least the cooking part is almost done. So yeah, let's take that out and run. All right, you guys, snook is ready. Like you see, we got the snook, some broccoli, some uh, grilled carrots, grilled onions, some olives. And my wife did make some hot sauce. So we have uh, 
soy sauce in there, some crushed red pepper, and some garlic. Simple, you know, like I said, we don't really like spices much. So let's dig in on the snook. That's good. Look at that. All right. So we're going to try the snook first with some uh, of this hot sauce, even though I don't like it much, and tell you how it is. Mmm, it's pretty good. I can't believe it's been such a long time. Yeah, no soapy aroma or anything funny like that. It's pretty good. Recipes I pulled with baked, grilled, fried. So we want the easy way, fried, some vegetable in there, some grilled carrots. Mmm, they go really good with this. Look no. at that guy. Yeah. Believe it or not, my first snook in 12 years. So, can't complain. It's great. I cannot say I don't like it. I love it. Definitely, I might keep another one. I might not. We'll see. I like to release my snook, but hey, this gonna, this might change my mind, and I might go and keep some snook from now on. But again, guys, it was fun going out there, catching the snook, cooking it. And enjoying them with the family so appreciate you watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like always give us a thumb up subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one so let's go and enjoy this good looking dish